Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We are playing a little Life is Strange 2 today. So please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We are continuing on. Uh, see what happens on this episode. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Say on the last one, we burnt down a church, so it's going to be a completely new adventure for us. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And one of those wolves completely found out that his brother had powers Both right then. wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf. You already discovered that when he killed the cop. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The Big Brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed her. The Wolf Brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Yeah, she's in Arizona. They were in Nevada. Hey, Scorpion. The same Scorpion. Arizona is really beautiful. Sean? Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Where's Karen? So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. 
That's amazing. Being through the desert at the Grand Canyon, I'll tell you, you had to start waking up the moment the sun was coming up. It heats up everything. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens, you hear me? Yeah, I love you too. So where's Karen and your stuff? So why are you alone at the Grand Canyon? Still having those bad dreams? You know about Lisbeth? No. I guess I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe that's bad. Uh, her. Not in this case. It was her or us. You did what you had to do, and I know. I know. She was so nice at first. Nobody can tell me what to do with my power. Especially her. With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, but with great power, you know the drill. I know, I know. I'll be careful. Don't worry. Sean. Are we criminals now? Yeah. Don't so, lie to him. We did a lot of... illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. You got quite a bit if you're at the like Great Canyon, I'll tell you that. But we'll have to leave soon. That's a long drive to the border. Sorry, you know. Let alone walk. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. Been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Monogato. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while. But at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lied the evil chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too. Yes, right? it is. And honestly, all of it's your fault. Yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh... Okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. That was... Very dangerous. I'll say being at the Grand Canyon. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. There are I people all around. As heroes because they have defeated the beast. <laughs> okay, Stephen King Jr. You win. Let's it, pack this shit up and head back to town. It is the World Heritage Site. Gotta there is stuff, stuff everywhere. And this place is too pretty. Constellation sketchbook. 
draw. It's giving me the option to draw, I'm gonna draw. Sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. You got a bit of a blind spot. <laughs> Sucks. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the tin. Hmm. I can try. There we go. That hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh yeah. Now the actual bad. deep shading of the black is this. takes away from the photo. Alright, so we need to hack. Pretty much everything. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. Activate flashlight. On the way. Into the box. That's it, box bag. I hope we could go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. <laughs> Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe... It reminded him of mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop, Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? Uh, no shit. Now cut it out. Jeez, you're uh. the fun. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. There are so many trails around the Grand Canyon. Neighbor and I hiked around the South Rim for days. It was fun. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on. Let's You're go. actually torturing the little thing. Okay, okay. Alright. So what do we got? Get our flashlight. Soda. Whoa, that is finicky. Book from Karen. Curry from a person named John. Badass telescope. Alright. So we have been doing pretty good. I think we've only missed a few. Alright, 
right. Wow. Okay. There's quite a few uh, things here. Let's do this. Karen wants to talk. It's hard to, but I'm trying to hear her out. Not sure I'll ever understand what she's been through or what she's after, but I can try. Oop. There we go. So this works. We got Daniel back, but at what cost? What the hell happened? Why? Did she really have to die? Daniel, the mythical beast, getting the hell out of Haven Point now. Glad Karen is driving. We need to breathe, breathe sleep, forget. Be, 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 Sarah Lee, this needs to go to you. May 15th, 2017. Karen lives in the desert commune. No shit. Unincorporated community, she said. Called away. Only 30 people live here on and off. Place is so weird, but the desert is mind blowing. Perfect hideaway. Daniel still feeling uh, so confused, guilt tripping a lot. Can't figure out what happened. The brainwashing the lies. Elizabeth's grasp over his trauma. Doing my best to help him recover. Sure hope they're fine now. Karen has big help too. She's good with the words. That letter from Jacob and Sarah made him happy. Daniel needs more friends. So do I. Sean, we're posing. Uh, mm, and then heart. A little trip to live with Karen again. She wants to move on. That's easy for her to say. I'm trying. Daniel's getting better. You can see he loves having his mommy back. Daniel's power is no secret here. No one gives a shit. They just go along with it and don't see it as something you could use for their own advantage. Refreshing. Rar, who's gonna tell the already bullshit, crazy, sane people, David? This place away is what you make it. Joan haunts it with cool sculptures made from. Galvage scraps, she's cool and sunny woman. Karen's closest thing to a best friend, it seems. Little sack, ornamental tattoos, take my time today. Arthur and Stanley live in the only proper house in town. They built it together ten years ago from ruins of their past lives. These two can't sleep, stop teasing each other, but they're so inspiring. Old couple, young love. This place makes you want to draw, could stare at these canyons forever. Daniel needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Haven Point and Elizabeth for weeks. Still feel guilty about my eye. I need to find a way to help him process this. Karen told us about a cool camping spot. Reached the top, took a long hike across the canyon, tracked several sessions. Felt like forever. I need to work out my cardio. Don't fall, mate. Uh, Ursa Major, man, whore is this? Probably the best view ever. Gonna stargaze all night thanks to Arthur's telescope. Daniel seems happy. So you're in July. This all started like in October, right before Halloween. So you've been, you've been venturing. All right. I wish we saw more falling stars, or any. <laughs> Don't piss when they fall. We saw the Milky Way. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. These guys are real cool. I'm guessing we go left. I'm gonna see if there's any path over here. Now, yeah, we are gonna have to go left. Daniel didn't freak out once last night. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? He's probably confused. She's, um, confused. Anyway, what I was saying is, like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know, I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. I'm not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. <laughs> I hear you. Amazing that anything can grow out here. 
Does it ever rain in the desert? Yes. Well, oh, uh, good question. Yes, it does. It rained when we near were out there. Wow. Good thing I'm not scared of heights. We could see the whole world up here. <laughs> we're so far from away. Hmm. Now what the hell is that? Everything is far away. Daniel? I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. It is so beautiful out of the Grand Canyon. It Ooh, is Look at that. Crazy. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. Is that all we do up here, I'm guessing? Yeah, it is one of the biggest religious experiences of my life was going to Grand Canyon. It's just so I got the crazily beautiful. Hope Karen has some food. Ah, uh, that makes me want to go back. You know who I'd see having a trailer out here? Yeah, well, you're a wanted fugitive for killing some people. I need to help Daniel down uh, first. Where were we? <laughs> Who? <laughs> He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. Hey, need help getting down? Dude, I got this. <sighs> See? Easy peasy. Until you fall on your ass. Yeah, but I didn't. Oh, sh Ooh, Looks look. like a job for our local look. super oh, man. psychic boy. Cool baby Come on, psychic boy. Here we move some rocks. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be... Super careful. <sighs> Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> nice, man. Dude, his eyes are getting bluer and bluer. Wonder if that has anything to do with his ability. They are like shining blue. Yeah, there are these little towns out there. So pretty. Arizona is a definitely gorgeous state. for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. That's super nice. Do you show that telescope in your back? Okay. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Over and out. 10 4. No flying pancakes today. 
It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us, too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Hey, she does love you guys. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Yeah. Oh, there's something up there. <laughs> Looking. Karen taught me some cool off the grid shit. Wow. I bet I could draw up here. Yeah. I'm like, there's a chair. That has to be a draw. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Biomechanical fantasy. I'll do the wolf pack. It's funny how that little bit of changing. Hey, do you actually want to start drawing more than what you just see? Because he was just drawing pure backgrounds. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. Alright, let's peace out of here. I'm going to continue looking around. Stumbling from failure to failure. Ooh, Karen, you are so busted. Hey, do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having a house. But the town was kind of dead. Yeah. But I really miss Chris and Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just glad we're still a family out there. Can I go into the place? Hmm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Holmes? She's really good at rewriting her own life. I'm a solo Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning, resign myself to new faces, the privilege to escape, and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans, then shows me the page left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, the seeds return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go back and forth, layered in fear and hope to water the children of the sun. This one's pretty intense. Don't believe I, get it. I would find a soul within or without a church. A miracle was sleep and food and fuck. A day without shit until it was not. Now we run on celestial spires of visions of fake prophet, engulfed in ego and belief as the burning cross falls on all your cruel angels. I am the bonfire of vanities. So when the dam breaks, we all flood like glass on a mirage, if I believe. All right. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. <laughs> Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. 
Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright, into the big city, right. Stop, the cliche never dying in the steel of buildings, the warp of the street, but no matter what or where I spin, the pool of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go, but this time I get to lead until the next flight. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Maggie and Carol. Hard times. Looks like they all finally found their home. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. Yeah, that is they sloppy writing. Hola, Sean. Sorry I did not write you sooner, but this is the first time I've had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre, Siri. Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are just yet. We'll figure that out later. Thanks to my old savings account, I finally got Sarah Lee antibiotics, so she's been feeling better pretty fast. Kids are like superhumans. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. We are so lucky to have each other. When you both came our way, we were blessed. Trying to track down the Humboldt crew. I'll keep you posted. I hope everybody is okay after that night on the farm. We deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jake. Oh, there is a second page. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Hi, Daniel. Hope you're good and happy. I feel much better now. It took forever. We found a place to live, but we finally did. I love this cold weather way better than the heat. Please come see us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends. She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Dear Miss Reynolds, pursuant to our conversation on June 10th, your inability to submit your poetry manuscript the other way to Raven Gray Press has contracted the deadline of June 1st, 2010. Despite repeated efforts to accommodate you, we regret to inform you the breach of contract means we shall no longer be publishing the collection as part of our new poet series. As stated in section 4 of our contracts, he attached the author fails to deliver the manuscript by the grieved date. The publisher has the right to recover the full amount of $10,000 advance. We have included a letter of repayment and a form of schedule. As stated in section 23 of our contracts, the attached the rights of your manuscript shall be revert back to the author on full payment in advance. If you have any further questions, please refer to our legal team. I wish you the best luck in your future endeavors. Alistair Mann. Huh. Is that the same person who wrote her back in Beaver Creek? Hi, Remy. Yes, I know New York in August is hot as balls. You, know, you did say something about the heat, but my apartment under the roof can be really suffocating. Don't want it to rub it in, but Aspen is my new summer home. Daily temp around 70 degrees, hot tub at night. Anthony's cabin's more like a ski lodge. Next trip, maybe we, you could tag along. Poets Retreat, best cure for writer's block. And please let me know if you can pay me back for August rent. I definitely need it for the next month here up in Aspen. See you September 5th instead of the 4th. Put your clothes on. And uh, stay out of trouble. Remember to water my babies this time. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. Man. I'm still not used to this heat out here. It's a dry heat, so it's not bad at all. had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Hi, Karen. Thanks. Must pay better than poetry. Thanks for your advice, Colin. We got a quite a response about the hits. I know you don't want social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insights. Looking forward to your next piece. Please make sure you send your invoice for May and June. Let's look at Sean. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. Last and seeing the good into it. Last time I saw my mother before this year, I was telling her to leave me the fuck alone. That I'm done with the whole bullshit family. My real fans were the strangers I met on the road. 
who became friends, not my family, who became strangers. I adopted the online connections and I made them around the world all wondering souls that I would encounter on a journey ahead. You'd be reading this right now, except the next time I saw my mother, she was in the hospice care at the Utah home. Her body light and frail as web, holding hard and telling me that she was sorry about everything and kept us apart the most of my adult life. My mom was dying of cancer and she was sorry. So I cried, she cried, my brother cried, we all cried. And all the years of family bullshit blew away to dust, like that, finger snap and sound. Alright, scroll down. I wasn't just mad anymore, I didn't know it would be so easy or so hard. I didn't mean for the past, I didn't want this to happen, or so I wasn't responsible in my own way. My brother used to tell me I was a fake liberal, because while I was trying to save the world, he had to take care of mom and the family estate. Maybe he was right, but I told him he has all the money to take care of them. If I uh, was in charge of the finances, I would give him away the family estate and we'd be broke, living in a co-op. My brother knows this. Families are just fucking weird. Society tells us that love your parents and siblings simply out of blood and chance. But what if you hate each other? What if you're only linked by random DNA? What if? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I've seen the best and the worst of people everywhere I roll. And yes, and some of those extremes at 3 a.m. on an empty gas station or in a desolate high freeway, yes, I've seen strong family bonds and hard times. I know we are big siblings out there who will always care for their little siblings and vice versa. You help me understand the fragile feel ecosystem. In her last hours, my brother and I held my mom's thin fingers as she passed Onto a place, I hope it is better than the one she came from. After she was gone, I found a stash of some school essays and stories. The only things I was good at in school. I never knew she kept the stuff or that she cared. Even if we couldn't understand each other, she may have been a little proud that I went my own way and tried to be a force for good. Mothers know how to make you cry like a little bitch. The first time tears burned my eyes and so long it felt good. So now I came back to my home I once found never to return. I don't feel so alienated this time, even if I still am. Like I say too often, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Now I have an estate to deal with and more responsible ability than I actually want. But I want to see this as karma or destiny or dharma of the privileged. Don't panic, I'm taking a break from my life on the wheels just to see who or what I can help. Now I have more resources to spread around. I'm sure my brother will approve, insert sarcasm, if you're still taking after all this memorial bonding. Okay, it's not a happy ending, but maybe it's a hopeful one. And so, speaking of hope and the sad state of the sad nation, I've been thinking, it's time to move outside the comfort zone. Send dispatches from places and people I'm not so familiar with. Places I can explore new stories like Canada or Mexico or The Road Never Ends. We miss you too, Lila. Always. Me during the day, all under control, the am under bed. I blow a new picture. Blow a new picture. Birthday bro, Daniel Diaz, miss and not forget. I'll make a wish for you, ten people like this. What's on the USB key? I, whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. So you got... Math homework, drawing, crap, pictures. Hey, Dad. Myla always knew how to crack me up. Cool. What's that? Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. You want to know that. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but... It feels kind of awkward to be here. That's everything in here. All right. Like he's telling me to go to Stanley's place, so Arthur. I don't know which one that is. I should bring the telescope back to Arden Stan before I forget.
Run! Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? I can't select anything. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. I know. Again. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Oh, you get a little bit of everything. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special ever crew, and thus free. Thanks. Full of peyote. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope <laughs> you guys get to meet Becky. Does she visit a lot? Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping, but this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area, for the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel will find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life, become the person they want to be, or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert brew. They're nice. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird. <laughs> now that's some real patriots. They have one of the wood bears. Oh, not again. It's kind of cute, though. Huh. You think- Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. No. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, mm. artist, 
Come it's been a while since place. we last heard about we'll Donnie. Wild sculptures. Do you think he'll be back from rehab Hold up. someday? I'll be over in a minute. I didn't know you ever left. Gosh, you live in your own world, honey. This part of town is dead this time of year. I Where's Joanne's? Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. I don't know. It kind of helps me focus, get a better grip. Do you feel it? Like, mm. dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. These are cool. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. You have a thing for Lila. Joanne can throw a total rager out here. <sighs> but without asshole neighbors. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Yeah, you're living off the grid. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. I don't know. It's just doodles and shit. Doodles. No I thought my sculptures were shit too, compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. That is true. I got something to bring to the world. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. All right, so that's the head, arm, belly. I will go with the belly. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Okay, Daniel. 
Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. You should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. No. Now, let's throw on that spider. You got it. Now the spider is the arms. It makes more sense this way. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Watch this. Put it in. Uh, and everything's looking good. The it's all facing this way. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? See. I think that looks good. Yeah, I'll finish it. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. Probably not. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a, a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. That's cool, Ooh. Joanne trusted me to help Show build her sculpture. That. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. I can talk to you, now. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. Well, at that, I think we'll call it an episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to see what else we can get into on the next episode. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Peace.